Greetings. Welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. And today I have a mini album that I have just completed. And it is seven inches. <laughs> I think it's seven inches this way. And um, no, seven and a half by seven. I'll get the dimensions later. But I do know that the spine is three inches. <laughs> um, so the theme of it is kind of like shabby Paris, sort of. Um, so I will flip through this book. And um, just to start out, I left the cover kind of plain. I was thinking maybe a picture could actually go here. Um, I thought that would be kind of neat. Um, some lace from Scrimpy's Lace Closet. And then um, just another piece of trim that I have. And then there's just a little collage of embellishments here on the front cover. Organza ribbon is what's holding it closed. To open it, um, there's some rub-ons throughout the book, like Paris-themed ones. Um, I left, <coughs> excuse me, I left the cover plain. Some trim. Uh, I didn't get the count of how many um, pictures are actually in the um, photo mats or in, uh, in the book, but I will um, count those out so that we know how many pictures it can hold. Um, so two photo mats, and I left them all plain on the back so that the photos could go on the back side, and you could have the paper on the front side or write or whatever you would like to do. Um, on the tops, they all have um, little booklets. So you can cut your pictures and put them here. So again, I left the part where the photo will go plain and then just decorative paper on the fronts and backs. And so two more photo mats here. And then like I said, um, there are like the um, rub-ons throughout. Um, something can also be tucked in between the banner there. Two photo mats here. And uh, I kind of wasn't sure about, um, I might go back and add something that makes it a little easier to pull these out. Um, and I was gonna put them this way, but I thought it'd be kind of weird to have like, so much space on the cover of the book to accommodate for this but yeah so um the other photo mats booklet uh, yeah i just didn't want to i like the idea of having booklets in the um pullouts because i feel like sometimes they're more um i guess like accommodating i want to say then, um, I don't know, I just like the usability of it better, personally. So that's why I did it. <laughs> um, two photo mats here. And the top. See what I mean? Yeah, I think I will go back and add something to pull those out. But I needed to do this video because uh, the times changed, and so now I've got a lot less daylight than I used to. So it's the center of the book here. Um, in the very uh, center, I've got some gold eyelash trim. And then a piece of lace is in there. And that I got from my friend Tova in a swap that we did. And then um, the rhinestone is from Scrimpies. And so both of these just flip up. And then there's room for photos on the tops and bottoms. Um... So another little booklet. The book is sliding everywhere. Okay. Um, two more photo mats. <laughs> I'm kind of delirious because it's been a very busy month actually for me. So I'm happy that I was even able to um, fit time in to craft because 
It's been super busy between work and baking and um, I did a, um, you know, I'm crafting as well. I, ha I can't even talk, I guess, apparently. <laughs> so, um, yeah, lots of stuff happening, but good stuff, I guess. So that's the good news. This is a magnet closure, but I guess it, it still catches, as you can see, but um, it just doesn't snap snap because of all the paper that's been layered. So, but it still, it does its job. There's three photo mats here. Just a belly band that I um, used some flat back pearl trim that I also got from Scrimpy. Um, and then the flower at the bottom is what's used to hold as a stopper so that the photo mats don't slide through. I did a, a half an inch gussets um, to allow for like all the really chunky um, embellishments, which I typically don't do a lot of those, but I feel like in this book, or at least in this style of book, uh, it needs to have a little bit of a... Uh, Flare. Oh, and some of the pages have lace on the edges. I, I didn't even <laughs> didn't even mention it. Okay, so three more mats here, and then those just tuck in there. And then here's the back of the book. Again, I just left it plain. That's my stamp. Here's the back, and that's it. That's my book. Um, I will post this one up for sale as well. And I would like to thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.